good morning. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, we had such a wonderful time out at LFBC this weekend. Uh, yesterday morning, wonderful sermon, wonderful service. The Lord had laid on my heart. But last night, we had the Fortify Trio. Uh, these were three individuals who absolutely love uh, the Lord our God, and they brought it in song. And uh, they had a, um, a lady with, him, uh, with them named Sherry. Miss Sherry, I'd heard that she was a wonderful singer. Oh, absolutely. She uh, blew the roof off the place. It was absolute blessing to our congregation this morning. I want to look at a few things, mainly about obedience. Um, we'll be looking out of our new devotional guide, The Word for You Today. Uh, this is uh, the, the guide that we're using now at LFBC, and we're giving out to all of our members, and you also can get one too if you would just, uh, just make remarks uh, on Facebook here uh, and give me your address, and we will try to get one out to you as soon as possible as long as they last. Um, I want to talk about obedience this morning and, and how we need to sometimes obey when we don't know. Uh, it's hard. It's hard for us as, as uh, individuals. It's hard for us as human beings because it's not, it, it seems like it's not in our, our DNA or our makeup to just obey somebody without seeing what they're talking about or without or going somewhere without knowing what it looks like or what lies ahead. We have problems with obedience, and then that leads to problems with authority and, and other things. Christ would have us to be obedient to him because he knows the next step. He knows what the big picture is. He sees uh, what's at the other end of the road, and he knows exactly how to get you there. So I want to talk to us about how we need to be more obedient by looking at the Scripture and what God will say. Before we do, let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord God, we love you, we honor you, and we thank you, Father God. Help us with our obedience to you. And in your name we pray. Amen and amen. We're going to be in the book of Luke. <clears throat> I'm in Luke 5. And I want to look down at, at, uh, at uh, verses 4 and 5. And this is where Jesus had been preaching throughout the, the countryside. He had been um, at, in Galilee and, and some other places. And, and he was preaching. He found himself uh, near a lake, the lake of Genesaret, which was the lake of Galilee or the Sea of Galilee, and, and he, was, he found himself at the edge of that uh, with a couple boats behind him, and the people were pressing on him, uh, the Word of God says. They were pressing up against him. There were such multitudes that he had to take a step back into one of the boats and push out a little bit so the people literally could hear him without pushing him into the lake, so to say. Um, and something happens when he's there. Such a wonderful teaching uh, on obedience. And then four, it says, Now, when he had left speaking, when he had quit speaking, uh, he said unto Simon, uh, whose boat he was in, he says, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a large catch. Now, they had been fishing on this lake their whole lives. They knew everything about this lake. They had been fishing earlier, uh, had not caught anything. It goes on, it says, and Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have uh, toiled all night. We have fished all night and have caught nothing, have taken nothing. Nevertheless, now here's our, here's our key. Uh, in B here, in 5B, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. At your word, I will let down the net. Dear ones, as you go off to work or school to play this morning, um, I, I asked you this, uh, are you doing uh, what God wants you to do? Or are you or are you trying to do things on your own? Are you trying to be hard-headed about things? Or are you saying, God, if you'll show me what's at the end of the rainbow, then I will jump on. Uh, or if you'll uh, show me what, what's going to happen next, then I will do what you're leading me into. Or are you going on the value of he is your Savior? He is the one that you have put your trust in. You believe in this word. And so in that, you say, Father, you lead and I will go. If you say so, then I shall do. And it goes on in 6, it says, and when they had done this, when they let out their nets, even though that they had been fishing all night and they caught nothing, when they let out their nets, it says, they enclosed a great multitude of fish and their nets broke. They had so many fish in the nets that they broke. If they would never had listened to Christ, even though they knew, they had been there all night long. They, they knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, who was this man to tell them how to fish? They were fishermen. It goes back to our arrogance that, that the human has. And then when we give that over to Christ and he works on us with that, he, he starts to tear that down and let us see that we don't know everything, but he does. 
and that if we'll put our trust in him, we too can know everything when he leads us into it. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, dear ones, as I said, as you go out today, remember this, that when Christ leads you, he knows the big picture. Take that first step. Throw the nets over. Have, have even though you know what's there, or you think you do, and watch as Christ brings forth a great multitude in your life. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warwick, and I'm the pastor at Leonard's Fork Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to Leonard's Fork? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.leonard'sfork.org, and God bless you today.